Random tone generator. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's no input. There's no input. <laughs> yeah. What else is trousers? <laughs> you didn't expect to see this on the design to did you? Yeah. <laughs> April Fool. Hello, welcome to the Distorted Trumpet Show. Welcome back. We are in our new setup. Hope you <laughs> like it. Uh, and we have a special April Fool's edition for you today, featuring an amplifier. And I'm very intrigued. I'm, and I've even got the bass. I haven't even got a guitar. And a bass. <laughs> it's crazy talk. All right, let's get on. Cool, yeah. Open Show up. Up. Hello. Line test. Electro harmonics, those are my favourite two words to see. Random tone generator. Ah! Oh. <laughs> we like random tone generators. <laughs> Have you heard of this one before? Only in our conversations. <laughs> Only in our conversations. I tried to keep it from you, this one. <laughs> that is very. Yes. Very, very cool. What's the first thing you notice about that pedal? Uh, well, the second thing, maybe the third thing. Uh, there's no input. There's no input. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is, so this is why it's an April Fool's Day or April Fool's Week pedal. Right. It's a synth. <clears throat> and it's a random tone generator. So this is the EHX... Random Tone Generator um, Mark II. The original one came out in 1980. Okay. And it's just a synth. It just... Just a synth. It just right. goes... It randomly oh, it generates creates, tones. It does you, its own... You turn it on, it goes... Beep, boop, blip, blip, blip. beep, boop. And then you can change the rate that it randomly... Ah. So basically it takes... I think it's... Um, it's over a six octave range. Oh wow! And it just randomly selects a note in that range. So this is so no guitar, no trumpet. No guitar, no trumpet. That's why it's April Fool's. Trousers. <laughs> trousers, trousers. That's why we've got this amp because we're gonna try this with some uh, funny settings. So uh, how exciting! <laughs> yeah. So so yeah. So this came out in 1980. This is the sort of re-release in the early 2000s. It just makes tone. It's got two switches. It's, well, on off switch. It's got a rate control, which just controls the rate that goes out. And it's got this on off switch, which is glide. Yeah. Um, so. Glide I'm familiar with. So what, what, what is it? I'm familiar with it because I've got one on my Moog Mavis. Yeah. And I've never actually figured out what it does. <laughs> so this could be quite informative for me. So there's, there's, Different ways of, of referring to it, glide. On other electroharmonics pedals, they call it a glissando. Um, ah. It just means that right, you've got two options. You've got notes where it just goes bloop, 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 bloop. Yeah. With the glide on, it sort of bloop, it goes, yeah. it jumps, it sort of glides in to that note. Yeah. So yeah. So I don't think it. I think a real glissando will go from one note all the way to the new note. Yeah. This one just sort of glides in a little bit. Right. Okay. Um, so, there we go. Beautiful, yeah. Let's plug, plug, it in. plug it in. You don't need to trumpet. No. <laughs> so there we are. This is cool. the EHX RCG. <laughs> um, so, what's your signal chain? <laughs> My signal was... chain is uh, <laughs> a hand and a desk and uh, a pair of ears. Yeah. And yours? <laughs> Same, mate. <laughs> I'm not using the bass. <laughs> Quite disappointed, I <laughs> Well, unfortunately, it doesn't plug in. So, um, just because I want access... So a couple of different effects. We're yes. we're taking a different option tonight. We're going in to this beast, which is a Yamaha THR 10X. It's the metal one. Woohoo! Nice. Um, it's an amazing amp. It's really really good. Um, there's all the modern ones, the THR 30s and Mark II, but this one is is great. What we got? We just got it on clean at the minute. Um, just clean tone. Everything's set to set to zero. Ali. Uh, get it on. Let's cool. go. 
So I just turn this yeah. to. Try not it. to obscure the dials too much. Uh, yeah. Jeez, maybe that one. So I turn the rate up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I turn the rate up and it's going faster. Yeah, it's just the rate. And then... Right, turn. And then you see it just slides in. <laughs> Welcome to the rave, kids. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty fun, huh? We need have a lot. We I absolutely mean... need to sample this. <laughs> we don't need to just sit no, my pedal board. <laughs> Um, so, for me, it's like a baby Moog, right? Yes. It's like a Moog that you don't really control very much. Yeah. All you control is the glide. Well, it's interesting um, because I, I had a, a patch making this exact sound yeah, the other yeah. day. I know. Um, wow. But that's the bass line. Now, it gets a bit more fun when you add in a few effects. Oh. So that's why I've chosen this amp today. Okay. So we're going to throw on some... Um, well, let's oh, go for some delay. delay. Okay, nice. let's try a bit of chorus. A bit more delay. And you get that sort of... For me, it's like this kind of ethereal... Yeah. Very ambient, yeah, spacey yeah, yeah, yeah. thing. That's um, cool. Let's try a bit of delay and reverb. Oh, well, that's nice. It's nice, isn't it? That's with the chorus. I like this hall rib. The hall rib on this one is really nice. I love this amp. This amp it can be used as an interface. It's got stereo speakers. It's loud. I have actually used this amp in a proper practice. I had to turn everything up to 10. Have we played a trumpet through this? We've not yet. When we do the uh, play the trumpet through all the marshals, we will. That's just... It's nice, isn't it? I just want to stand and listen to this all night. <laughs> so, here's some flanger. Nice. Bit of phaser. And then the one that I think goes really well with this is trem, tremolo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A bit delay. Nice. <laughs> it's just wink, isn't it? Uh, really, it's yeah. just wink. And then, of course, you can play with the bass. Turn the bass up. Get that sort of a dirty bass. Yeah. Now, um, we've both recently wa watched a video about how high st higher state of consciousness by Josh Wink was made. Yes. Um, so the. That was made with a um, with a TV three hundred three. I think yeah. made a couple of them. Yeah. Um, and what they talked about in that video actually was they spoke a lot about distortion. Yeah. Um, which I think is one of the most important effects for these sort of thing. So we've got two options here. We could either use the distortion in this machine, which is great, or down there it's we could use the the, uh, the uh, heavy metal too <laughs> the metal zone yes absolutely I think we uh, so we're gonna plug I think we need to do metal zone and could you get the reverb pedal as well and we'll do a quick so we're gonna run previously featured pedals so we have the metal zone and the Mvave mini universe and this will give us everything we really need so let's do that zip so we have now the random tone generator, we have the metal zone, and we have the M Mvave, Mvave <laughs> mini universe, so nice. hit some tones. You happy with that tone? Yep. What do you want to do first? Distortion or reverb? I, I think let's stick it on uh, let's stick it on cloud. <laughs> Also, that's fully wet. Oh, yeah, too much. This lo fi one is a lot of fun. Yeah, all the, uh, <laughs> all the, all the distortions in yeah. there, right? That 
that's a swell. That's nice. That's nice. nice. Ooh, so yeah. windy. Hit me with the metal zone. Ooh. Oh! You can really hear yeah. that. Let's get some bass. You might not be able to hear us talking over this, but we're here. in the house. <laughs> we are back to the mid-90s. <laughs> that is nice. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't expect to see this on the Decided to Return, did you? <laughs> April Fool. Wow. Alright. There we go. The EHX Random Tone Journey. How would you use this <laughs> with your trumpet, Phil? With my trumpet? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> I would play over the top of it yeah. separately. I would, this would slot, that that we've just had there would slot very nicely into uh, a nice piece of uh, techno or some really filthy house tunes um, with some sort of grungy guitar underneath it yeah. and uh, a muted sort of far away trumpet, I reckon. Yeah. Might be coming to uh, Spotify soon. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> I think it's great. I think if you can, <clears throat> so for example, with my mega ambient board, yeah, if I can have that running into a separate channel, going through a few effects, yes, going out into a separate channel on the desk, separate can, from, and then your guitar through a different chip. Exactly. Yeah. So it goes goes. So it's its own little it's thing. It's completely separate. Right. But it goes through some of the uh, the reverb and the distortion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then they uh, just throw it on when the when the time's right. It's great. I love Bring it. the party. I love it. Excellent. Excellent. Good. Well, tell us what you thought. <laughs> Join the conversation. 
and uh, April Fools, Happy Easter. <laughs> Thanks very much. We'll see you soon. Bye. Enjoy. Still going? Yeah.